Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Aries the Emperor. Uh, this is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. Cross watchers are welcome as well. I'd like to welcome all of the newcomers um, and to those who are returning. Thank you all so much for your support. Um, all of your donations, subscriptions to the channel, um, your likes, your comments. Thank you all. Very grateful. So I thought I would just come on here um, and just chat with you guys for a little bit. I was getting the feeling like someone here is something like an urban legend. You know, like Bigfoot. <laughs> I'll use that as a reference. And I say that because when we talk about Bigfoot, there are no actual facts as far as this being being real. You know, it's just something based off of myth and reputation, just a, a terrible reputation that has been created. And the emperor is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. And I just feel like someone here may be experiencing that same type of treatment in a sense as to where you're misunderstood and people just may have a narrative about you that have probably never even really met you in real life or had a conversation with you, you know let alone been in the same room with you for five minutes. Um, it just seems like there is a narrative put out there about you um, from others that may have had encounters. You know, it's, it's like different people's accounts of their own personal encounters with you, which may not even be all factual. You know, people like to fabricate. So in a sense, you are your own urban legend. And I think it's very surprising when people meet you um, and they realize that they've been feeling some type of way about you and come to find out that's not even the truth. You know, you have people going off of others' accounts. We've got the King of Wands here. This is Leo Energy. So I feel like you're someone who is definitely a leader. Um, you could have Leo aspected in your chart, you know, big cat energy. Um, but I feel like you are someone who is very determined. You're not someone that just sits on your ass and, you know, talks to talk. You're somebody that's going to actually get up and walk it as well. I feel like you're someone that is admired by those around you, young and old. Um, whether they'd like to admit it or not. I feel like you're someone with very strong morals, um, a lot of integrity, which is something rare I'm getting as well. I don't know if it's where you come from or just for your age, um, but you're just you're somebody that sticks to your guns, somebody that can lead the people, um, someone who is strong in their ways, means well, has a big heart, but very humbled at the same time. All right, what else do we have, Spirit? We have the lovers here, Gemini energy. And you could have Gemini aspect in your chart as well. Or this could be someone in your energy as well. Could be a Gemini or a Leo. Take it how it resonates. We are still in Leo season. But I feel as though you are someone who leaves your imprint on people after you've dealt with them. Especially like your exes. Um, I feel that there is still this attraction to you. Um, that is unspoken. Um, you may still have people that you've separated from that still watch you or still dream about you and still think about you in um, passionate ways. You could be 
having dreams or randomly thinking about people from your past. I feel maybe because they may be pulling on your energy at this time and just thinking of what could have been, what should have been um, if they had just really put more effort in. I feel like you're stepping in to a new side of yourself that has always been there. Wow. And right when I said that, a new side of yourself, the Empress came out. This is Libra Taurus energy ruled by Venus. Um, you have always been this exceptional type of person. Um, it just seems like maybe you were not so loud about it. Um, you focus more on tuning in with yourself first versus seeking validation elsewhere. And I feel like in the long run, that is something that has helped you stand and step into this great power or this great path that you are headed down. Devil energy, um, the devil card, this is Capricorn energy is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there could have been a lot of distractions. Um, like I said, I feel like there are still those who watch you who still think about you heavily, you know, especially with seeing this transformation, this glow up, like you, you know who you are, you know your self-worth at this point in your life and going back is definitely not an option. Um, you're not going to stoop to anybody's level. You're not going to step off of your throne and get dirty. There's no need for that. You know, you have lived and you have learned. That is what the Empress is. Like she's the shit. She's the queen of all queens. And at this point in her life, like, look at this. Do you think you're going to get her to step down and get dirty? <laughs> I think not. Highly protected. And then look at that. Two of cups is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. So this is, I feel like others emotions wanting to offer you things uh wanting to come in your energy as well to be a part of what you have building or what you have going on we have the full card here which is also aries energy and you are full of faith i mean you're full of favor i feel like you are Trusting in yourself again. Like I said, if, if you have been lost along the way or you have not been believing in yourself as far as anything goes, whatever your situation is, I feel like there's this newfound faith that you have found um, that has given you hope. And the sky is definitely the limit for you. like a, a huge burst of energy um, is what I see here coming from you. And I also, I really feel like someone could heavily be thinking about you. Not wanting to express their feelings. Yeah. The hangman. Pisces energy. Um, you could be intuitive. Um, you could be an empath. But I feel like someone is holding back their emotions. These are deep emotions. And also Pisces energy. Like I said. Um, the moon is in Pisces right now. And this is that energy again of dreaming. Like your dreams could be really vivid right now. But I feel like someone is tugging on your energy. That would like to experience you again you know but they're kind of stuck right now depending on the situation and depending on how things ended it's it's giving me the energy of somebody feels like they missed out on something like they have some type of hope or wish that they could come back in your energy once more now, whether that be for good reason or bad, um, I don't know yet. Ooh. But I do see the Queen of Swords is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Like, you didn't come to play. 
And I feel like you damn sure not finna put up with nobody else who is trying to spin a block again and come back and play. So I would just say that cross watcher beware. I'm getting you've had some type of enlightenment here as well. A lot of inner strength here. A lot of confidence. All right, Spirit, what other messages do we have? Wow. So we have the temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. Very tempered, okay? Very calm, very graceful. Like I said, it's giving off um, the energy of the Empress here. You could very well be an empath yourself. Like I said here with the hanged man and the temperance energy, this is very healing, um, patient, very grounded very wise type of energy here. You could be someone who's in school as well, furthering your education. And I'm getting like somebody likes to travel. Like you like to go the distance, like out of the country to exotic places. Someone, I feel like it looks very exotic as well. Like nice full lips. Like beautiful dark hair. And I also feel like your energy is so calming as well um, that when you do have those that walk away from you, they feel as though um, that they'll be able to, to get another chance from, from you. They'll be able to walk back in because you are such a forgiving type of person. But at this point, I feel like someone is unsure of where they stand. That's why they are stuck in their tracks. Like your change has been <laughs> it's so fast and and look at that, just like those cards just flew out. Your change has been so dramatic that it's it's kind of got people shook. <laughs> right. The hair of I mean the page of swords here and the hair of font Taurus energy. Uh page of swords, Aquarius energy. I feel like like you're being watched. Um, it's like you're the teacher here, like you schooling. I don't know if I said that in one of my last readings here, but whatever you have done have conformed to um, your spirituality, just you going within and, and coming out on the other side as if you are unscathed. I feel like people want to be a part of that or they want to know more. Um, and, and you are someone who is a teacher, whether you know whether you realize it or not. There's a, a curiosity here. A strong curiosity. It's like you make something look so easy, like effortless here. And it's like, people are like, is this really happening? Oh, wow. And we're going to take all of them because that's all energy. Queen of Wands is what actually popped out. So, like I said, I can't say anything else other uh, wise about the Queen of Wands except she is lit. Um, this is someone who is definitely not afraid to get their hands dirty. Has been through a lot and... Is proud, you know, she wears her, her scars proudly because they didn't break her. They made her 
and she's still a boss after the rain, after the pain, after it all. You know, we also have the seven of swords, more Aquarius energy. So this is telling me like maybe you had to really work hard to quietly get yourself out of a situation um, so that you could better yourself to get farther in life, to or to broaden your horizon, whatever it is that you are chasing. Um, this could also be like sneaky people around you as well, because you did pull the page of swords as well. So page of swords with the seven of swords is like people trying to steal your essence, like be like you, but like still claim to not like you or pay you any mind but still watching you at the same time is, is what this gives me. Um, it's like you giving off an energy that is undeniable. Like even when somebody wants to ignore you, they have to at least peek over the fence to see what you're doing because it's just that intriguing. Like it's, it's never been done before. Like I said, with the hair font, like you schooling bitches or however you want to say it. However, this resonates with you. Ten of Pentacles. Like you're giving off a money bag. Like you're giving off that you have everything under control um, as far as your wildest dreams, you know. You have the high priestess here. This is Pisces energy. And like I said earlier, I feel like somebody could be a high priestess here. This is Pisces twice. You could have Pisces highly aspected in your chart, but this is more water. So this is also just deep feelings here. Ten of Swords, something um, that is definitely over with. A relationship that you could have been in with someone or just friendships in general. People that you have walked away from. I feel like the knife may have been stuck pretty deep in your back and... Um, and yet people are still acting like you owe them something is what I'm getting from this page of wands. But you are in the energy of regardless whether you walk away with everything or walk away from with nothing. Um, as long as you have your peace of mind, the sky's the limit for you. Like you can re-get, re-buy, rebuild, re-whatever the fuck you need to do because um, it's just in you, you know. But I will say beware. Um, somebody could be watching your money, trying to figure out how you're making it, how much you're making. It's also what this Ten of Pentacles and Seven of Swords is giving me. Especially if you are um, in the Empress energy. And like I said, you know, shit is looking effortless on your end, even though it may not be. People only see what they see on the outside and that's what they judge from. But I would still keep them out of my business because... I mean, ten of swords, like, I hate to say, but it's really hard to know who to trust. Like, look at this. One of the swords is poking out of her neck. It's like your friend stabs you in the back and then calls to see if you're okay, is what the ten of swords is giving me. So just keep your eyes open <laughs> to everybody, all right? Judgment is what you don't see at the bottom of the deck. Libra energy. I feel like you are protected. Um, even though there may be people in their head about you right now, still continue to move forward and transition um, into this new step, this new journey in your life. Regardless of where it's taking you, I feel like you're being divinely guided. Um, you won't be led astray and you are someone who is understanding your power, learning it. And I feel like it's getting stronger for you day by day, as long as you keep putting in the work. Um, just make sure you're meditating as well and going out and getting grounded with nature. And I feel like your third eye chakra here is, has really awakened and has the potential to, to grow stronger and, and work more in your favor. 
okay you have a great spirit like i said you're giving off earth angel vibes as well so a very well-rounded put together type of person here that's why i said you're the teacher whether you know it or not it's beautiful energy okay so i'm gonna leave your reading here um, please hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me and i'll catch you guys later ciao